match and pressure early game. But if anything, I imagine the Dragons will be playing through the solo side. We'll see if the Jade Dragons do play through the solo lane. Can they get that early lead that they want against the Tartarus Titans? We'll find out all that and more as we jump into game number one with Gormizer and Trelly Relly. Well, Dragons and early lead. Then onto the Palau, looking for the pull. Onto screen, pulls both. There's the execute from Sot, and he's going to get a double kill with that one, kicking things off for the Titans, and a great look. Wow, this guy. Yeah, there's going to be a couple of hits. You can see 43. It's not the damage numbers from the ult that matter. It's the after the fact. And that aftermath is great for Panda Cat. Him, PVM, and Scream come together. He used on the side of the Dragons, and Cyclone Spin over there during his rotation gets caught out by Scream. So the Titans get the Pyro, but Lou the Sky goes the Naja, comes crashing down back with layers. Double kill for Scream, and they're looking for a little bit more. Aurora is getting burned through. Panda Cat picks that one up, and in the blink of an eye, the Dragons get three. He's walking forward. Sot's here. Sot oh. just takes it from him like it's nothing. Goes for the execute, but does not hit where he needs. Needs a little help here if he wants to survive. Killed off for his troubles. Cyclone now might be out of position. Got the mez. Alau looking for the pull. Only gets scream. Barely any health. Fine, okay. Gets the last hit necessary to get the kill there. Five dragons grouped up on the back camps trying to burn through Aurora's health bar. And they're going to be scream into the air with the layers. Comes crashing down. Has the damage with Pagon and gets the kill. Good knock up in the back from the Titans onto the dragons, but it's not enough to keep them going. Instead, fine, okay. Loops around. Finds a kill. Keeps things going they might lose scream but they're gonna find even more that's three down on the titans for just scream from the dragons and they're able to find some decent damage but instead they're eating more than they're dealing here the two frontliners for the titans not able to get much done layers has joined the fleet fine okay sorry sot has to use his to get away layers chases down panda they're pulling and they're gonna start the panda cat just trying to survive can't catch a break Beats Aegis use, but the ult from Paul locks him down long enough. Now Mike, surrounded by five, the Titans are just roaming through the jungle for picks. Mark from finding anything big. A lot of low health bars on the Titan. Unfortunately for Scream, he's too low and gets taken down here. Another trade in favor of the Titans. So T can do something about it. Jay Dragons are going down, but it looks like Aurora's flopping aggressively. Aurora comes in. Aurora drops the intoxicate. Not enough to steal the FG, and they manage. Instead, it's Panda Cat. There's the Scarab's Blessing. Keeps him going, but he's so low. Such an easy chase down, and Paul is going to get credit for that one. Huge. This engage going could be massive, but Pagon over the wall like it's nothing, and the Aegis keeps things going in his team's favor. Now he just needs a little bit of safety, a little bit of help, and Paul is going to find out why oh. you don't want to mess with him. They get the kill there. Cyclone commits his life for the kill onto Pagon. They lose the fire giant. They get deicided, and the dragons still find themselves ahead. That's between the two of them. Aurora stunned out. They're going to kill him off. Scream just buying time. It is good, but Aurora just finds himself out of position, burned down by the dragons. And now 4v5 engage from Panda Cat. Huge. Great knock up into a great ult from Paul, but the damage doesn't even matter. Aegis is used, and survivability is the name of the game. The dragons get to walk away from that one with a kill onto a roar and right back to the FG. Some space for his oh. team. Unfortunately, it's not enough. Pagon finds a double like it's nothing. Sot is getting burned down. Panda Cat, credit for that one. And with fire minions in mid, fire minions on right, and three dead for the Titans. The dragons are going to march in and take game number one. I I mean, that was just a beautiful dueling dragons. Picks off Aurora and just one shot Cyclone. Had the Aegis. The more as we start moving on in, in, into the latter part of this phase, and it's still looking just as good as it did on its release. Pagon really putting on a great showcase of what this god is capable of. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Yu Huang. I always have been. Now, I was a little worried that you kind of go in and out of whether he wants to be that full dive towards the back line or kind of wait for that pickoff style. Do the Jade Dragons at least have a, a decent team fight? The last couple of hits, but body blocks are good from Panda wow. Cat. Jukes are great from Mike, and he gets out of there instead. Panda Cat might even be able to turn this around. Bifrost forward. One more auto's all it takes. They get one right there. The and with Pagon rotating in, it's wow. a double kill for Panda Cat and a cleanup in the duo lane. I mean, that that could not have gone better. That's time. Scream's going deep for a kill, by the way. Takes a tier two tower oh, shot. Okay, but tank. kills off layers. Fine, okay, he's got to tank this one. You need a little bit of help. Does he have the leap? There's going to be a root. <laughs> Not enough. Can't so take him for that long. <laughs> yeah, fine, okay, leaves him in Fagon. 
with a rotation. Knock up, not quite enough, but it doesn't matter. Skewer exists. What was that? Some paprika? Some basil? What kind of spice? Thumbs are going to be cluttered because, wait, I just saw Scream and left. Wait, Pagon's ganking me now in Duo. The tower's gone. It's not going to be easy. And now PBM could be in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, he's going to eat a lot of ults. Jeez, I don't know if he needed that much to kill the Mimir. Scream, Scream has to play safe. Fine, okay, he's in trouble coming in. Doesn't matter. You got Pagon here. The damage is good. Scream. Credit for a kill onto Lairs. They trade one for one jungle. And a little pullback from Aurora keeps Fall alive slightly longer than he would have lived otherwise. Fine, okay. Mike, fall back. Go for the Primal Fury, but now it's just going to be a mid tier one tower. Aurora, beautiful wall. Like he's going to give the Kingslayer. I don't think you're living through this one. Now Cyclone spins there as well. They want blood. Sot taking way too much damage here. Chains going to come down from the powwow for layers. Pulls in none. This Pyromancer, Aurora, didn't poke down real low. A scream going to jump in and trying to chase this down. Layers in the back line. Yeah, walks in on his own. Panda Cap punishes that one. Incredibly well. Plus, they get the Pyro. What a wall. Are you kidding me? From Mike just to <laughs> lock up Paul. It's worthwhile going for it. It's not going to work <laughs> out, though. Cyclone, I don't even see what happened to him. He's slow. And then oh, you get CC'd stun. anyway. Slow. Oh, man. You dead. cannot <laughs> catch a break if you're a Tartarus Titan here. They're going to grab layers. <laughs> you came to the wrong jungle, man. They pick you up. And now it's the chase down. Hundreds of bass onto a roar. And another just off the mark. Not going to be able to find a lot onto Solar Troll. Final case. Scream what? leaps into the fountain of all places, <laughs> pays for it with his life. The Titans eat one here for his team's over-aggression. And the Titans find a defense from the base, just creating some space. He knows he's going to die. It's just oh. looking for more, and he's going to find it. Sot now left to the Sharks. They're going to surround him and rip him apart. Layers gets burned down. Scream pulled in. The Titan doing its work will help get one, but that is going to beat the seeding. So, you know. And in this case, they are getting the wins. Five and one for both Pagon and Panda Cat. Five and three for Scream. PBM even having a few kills of his own there. 4-2 and then the 2-1 on fine okay. So everybody getting to get their hands in, in the kill department at least for a little bit there. Pagon Panda Cat topping the damage charts for their team at the end of the game. 23k respectively for both of those ones out there. And a nice win for the Jade Dragons. A nice 2-0 to kind of bring themselves back after the 2-1 loss to the Oni Warriors just the day prior. Definitely going to be a nice little boost up for the Jade Dragons and their fans to give them the